Hello everyone, I'm the Marman and welcome back to Train Simulator where today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Grand Central Class 180 Adelante. I love that name, it's so good. It's just Adelante, Adelante, it's fantastic. Anyway, I'm just going to show you the train as normal with these first look things and then we'll dive into a scenario. So I'll see you when we're looking at the train thing. Yeah. And so, here she is, the Class 180 Adelante in lovely Grand Central livery. Just look at that. It's fantastic. It's a beautiful unit. It's one of the best ones that I think they've ever made. I mean, just look at it. It's fantastic. Five cars long. Passenger view. Uh, we've got chess. So if you want to play chess, then, well, you can. Or whatever that one is. I can't remember. You can plug your phone in if you so desired. And that even says stuff up there. GrandCentralRail.com. So you can go and go and do that thing. So yes, this is a very nice train indeed. Just play the horn. So yeah, we can also, if you so desired, we can hide the coupling on the front. Which is very nice indeed. So whereas the other train's the Omnom train, this one's the sticking its tongue out train. If I hit the key again, it's sticking its tongue out. Here we go. There we go. So yeah, you can do that on um, on either ends. The lights we've got, so it's like standard sort of light, not going anywhere lights. Night running, marker lights day running and hazard lights which is you know the ones that I should have because yeah that's just me we're gonna put them on to day running here if we hop into the cab we have a very nice cab indeed look at all this obviously like graphic settings are making it look a little bit mere but never mind um, this keypad here you can actually use it so um, you can't see my mouse but I can type numbers and yeah so I can do that that actually let's do one three nine seven eight and then we can see all the train information there it's even got a clock on there as well so that's fantastic uh, got windscreen wipers and stuff. So yeah, we've got windscreen wipers that go like really fast if you so decide. So if you hit it three times, they go that quick and they're not they're not loud, which is good. Some of them can get a bit annoying. Got a blind here. So there you go. So if you want to like you know not see where you're driving, then you can do that thing. And also as well, just for the added little extra detail, this fan works. Hell yeah! This is also one of the nicest running trains I have on my laptop. Um, the frame rate probably doesn't look fantastic, but it is. Trust me, it is. So let's just let's just give it a bit of a rev, shall we? If we can. Go, get the rev going right now. It's not in forward, so it won't go anywhere. This is a diesel hydraulic engine. It is the only high-speed um, train that's got a diesel hydraulic engine in the world. So there you go. So if you want, if you want that thing, then, then you can go and get it. So yeah, this is the train, just wanted to show you really. So we're going to dive into the scenario now where we're going from Peterborough to Stevenage. So um, I'll see you once that's loaded. Well, before it loads, you know, I'll, just, I'll, I'll show you this. Because why, why not? Why not? See, it's called a Grand Day Out Part 1. It takes 40 minutes. We're going from, um, yeah, Peterborough to Stevenage. Career, so you know how well it's going to go. So let's just dive right in and we'll have a look at and give a proper run of the new Class 180 Adelante. And we are in. Trial day is here. Grand Central are looking to introduce new services running between Peterborough and London King's Cross in the form of Class 180s. You will need to make a quick stop at Stevenage where some engineers will run some tests. And some frame rate would be good as well. There's our train. The good old Adelante. I love that name. The name was, um, some, who came up with that name? It was FGW, wasn't it? Open the doors and allow passengers to board here at Peterborough and wait for the s signal to clear before departing. Okie dokie, doors, right, let's pop this open so we can see what we're doing. So yeah, now we've got AI, the frame rate's going to tank a bit, but you know, what are you going to do? So the Class 180, there's only 14 of them ever built, because that's how many were ordered. And yeah, is that the right lighting configuration? Did I get that wrong earlier? I probably did, but whatever. We're going we're gonna to hide away that, um, we don't want that there. We're going to hide away the, hide away the coupling. Fun fact, it's the same coupling. HSD, can you be quiet please? It's the same coupling you get on like the ICE3 and the ICE like T and TD. So you could couple them together if you so desired. Um, I won't be doing that thing. Oh, the door at the front. Maybe the door at the front's not supposed to open. Ooh, interesting. So yes, this is the train. I never noticed where the horns are. If the HST would shut up. Look, the horns are here. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's like, like the train's ears. That's pretty nice. So yes. Yes, indeed. Yeah, this, these trains were built between 2000 and 2001, and um, they had so many faults when they went into service. The first Great Western didn't want them. They gave them back to Angel Trains and just said, nope, I'm not having them. And now they're owned by Grand Central, and First Great Western have got some of them back. So, you know, 
Sucks to be them guys. But no, these trains, I quite like these trains. I haven't seen many in real life. So there's only 14 of them in, in the world. And um, they can get from 0 to 125 miles an hour in 4.5 minutes. So that's pretty good going. If you, if you want a good, fast, accelerating train, then get this. Get this. And also get the, um, what is it, the ES64 Taurus. It's a German loco. That accelerates um, a lot, a lot. And I will, I will be doing a video on that in the future. So yes, as you can see, there's only five cars on this train. You can couple them together. Dispatcher, passengers are on board. When the signal ahead is cleared, proceed to King's Cross. Stopping for diagnostics at Stevenage. Over. Right, so yeah, we're only going as far as Stevenage today. Uh, just wait for the signal to clear, which is uh, there. Come on, signal. You know you want to change. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, whatever. I'll talk more about the train, shall I? See, it can seat 287 people. So that's quite a lot of people you can fit back here. That is a p person. Yeah, you can fit 287 people in here if you so desired, which um, I'm sure Grand Central probably do. Because, you know, why not? And this livery, I like the Grand Central livery. I come to think of it as sort of like um, the new Jaffa Cake livery. Because sort of like, or the Jaffa Cake bar livery or something like that. Or, you know, the Jaffa Cakes that used to have the chocolate on the bottom? Yeah, that's what I think of this. Heart of the North. Look at that. How, how fancy is that? You get nameplates on this one. We can go. Shut up. I should really sign in first, shouldn't I? Uh, zero, nine. Oh, that's six. Whoops, I said zero. And six. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what co code I put in. Right, let's get going here. And we are on our way to Stevenage. Would you look at that? So, yeah, if you want the coupling at the back... Just by the way, if you want to close the coupling at the back, you have to switch cabs and do it manually. So if you want to do that thing, then that's something you have to do. But, you know, that's not the aerodynamic side. So I don't really care too much. But, yeah, this cab is very nice. It's got a lot, a lot of interesting detail and stuff in it. I believe this train has working TPWS as well. So if you approach a red signal too quickly, we have problems. There we go. We've got a green. Cool. Let's get going. Let's get going indeed. We're in a 30. He's got to be careful. And uh, yeah, it's his career. So I want to do well. I want to do as well as I can, you know, because that's what kind of career I want to get. I don't, I don't I don't think anybody would want a bad career score. Um, not intentionally, anyway. I mean, I don't try to get bad scores. It just happens sometimes. Sad face. So yeah. Beep, beep. Yeah, so it's... Oh, hang on. That's a 25. Oh, don't. Okay, there we go. We're fine. We're fine. Look at that professionalism right there. We're fine. I'll try and get a nice screenshot of this train. Don't know how tr easy it's going to be. We won't do it yet. We won't do it yet. I just noticed that, yeah, I noticed the speed limit was 25. It's quite noisy in here. It's quite noisy in here. I mean, it, there is a lot of soundproofing in these in here, so you can't hear the diesel engine that much. Um, the diesel. Fun fact, it's the same engine in the Voyager that's in the Voyager. It's just that one's got is electric and this one's hydraulic. So there you go. Fun fact for you right there. The whole train is 116.52 meters long. So um, yeah, attach a load of these together and eventually you'll have quite a long train. As with any train really, but you know, whatever. Um, let's try and get a screenshot of this moment in time. Boom. Please, yeah, that good. Good, good, good. Right. I, was, I thought the catenary got in the way, but it didn't. But it didn't. So, yeah, we're on our way now. And I just want to try and do well, to be perfectly honest. As, as, yeah. Yeah. I do wish, though. I do wish... This this is the sort of train that wish, maybe wish I had a better computer. Because then I could read what's on it. You know? I could sort of, like, see stuff instead of just seeing blurs. But, you know. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Should we put the hazard lights on? Because I'm driving. Yeah, let's put the hazard lights on. Hazard lights, there we go. That's what we want to see. No, all right, let's just stick it on. We'll keep it, we'll have it on that configure. I like that configuration better than, than like, yeah, I like that one. Cool. All right, screenshots for days. Fantastic. How fast are we going? Um, 65, we can go faster. We can go a lot faster. Let's full throttle this. Let's full throttle this. Let's go in here. I like it, it's very bright in here. I mean, I've never been in the Grand Central train in my life. What's that saying up there? Parcels unattended anywhere on the station. Any unattended articles are likely to be removed without warning. Yeah, I, I know these things. I know these things. It's going to say exactly what I just said. See, I can predict the future. Or, or I'm just a trained nerd. But, you, you know. Um, 
Green signals, fantastic. I don't think they're going to stay green forever because, you know, it's, you can't have every scenario like dead easy, can you? Um, so, yeah, go via Connington up, Connington up fast in 7.8 miles. I can do that thing. I can do that. If we have a look at the at the thing here, so we'll go via there, via Everton, go via Arsley, and then pick up passengers from Stevenage. So we, we can do that thing. We should be there in the future. There is a signal up ahead, and it looks like it's a different colour other than green. Oh, joy, here's where the yellows come. Please tell me it's a double yellow. Yeah, it's a double yellow. All right, well, we're going to take the throttle off. We'll coast, or we'll coast for a little while, I think. Let's, let's get completely off the throttle. We'll just coast for a little while. What's this train coming up here? Let's have a look, shall we? It is a HST. Let's try and get a nice screenshot with the HST in it, shall we? HST, coaches, 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 and HST. There we go. God love those screenshots. God, if you have this game and you don't take screenshots, then why do you have this game? It is basically what I'm saying um, in life. Yeah, that's a signal. What signal is that? Oh dear. That's, uh, that's a single yellow. Okay. Shut up. Why are we behind another train? This isn't fun. Oh well. Right, let's put it on 23% brake. Because the next signal is probably a red. I'm going to do what train drivers can't do. I probably wish they could. And that's have a bit of a jump ahead. Oh dear. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a that's that's a red. Okay, let's put a bit more brake on that. Put a bit more brake on that. That should thirty three percent should be alright for now. No more. More brake, more brake. Please change. Oh dear. I hope we don't have a spad within like the first sort of like couple of minutes. That wouldn't be good. I mean, you know. I'll try my best not to, but we're gonna spad, aren't we? Oh my god, no, 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 no. Oh <laughs> Okay. Okay, that was lucky. That changed at like the last minute. So um yeah. Let's let's be careful about that. That was that was close. Right. Uh, next signal. Oh, we can see the train in front of us, look. I wonder what train it is. I come off the throttle. Let's have a, let's have another gander up ahead. What train are we behind? Is it a HST? It is a HST. Do go faster, you're a HST. Oh never mind. Okay. So the next signal coming up is probably also a red. Yeah, okie dokie. Alright, okie dokie. Let's just, let's just slow down then. Oh, uh, we've caught up to a train. Which means we're going to be behind it the whole way. So, so yay. Yay. Right, come on. Go yellow. Go yellow. Come on, go yellow. Come on. Come on, go yellow. No, you want to. Emergence, oh yeah, CTPWS went off. And I'm going too fast forward to red. And now we're losing points. Woohoo! That's TPWS for you. Oh dear. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 don't go, don't spad, don't spad, don't spad, don't spad, don't spad, don't spad. Don't spad. Damn it. I am back. Let's try this one more time. Trial day is here, blah, 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 blah. We've read that. So my, my, my cunning trick is, we're not going to go over at 80 miles an hour. That's the cunning trick I've come up with. There's our train once again. I do like it. I, it looks very so It looks very modern and awesome. Open the doors and yeah, 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 yeah. Right, doors. Forwards. Shut up. Look outside. Go over here. Put your tongue away. Change the lights. Wrong way. Change the lights. There we go. I said put your tongue away. There we go. I wish the HST would... Shut up. You're the one that caused me all my problems, alright? You're the one. You're the one. Right, okie dokie. So we're going to try this again, like I just said. Let's go over here. It's quieter over here. Let's go in the car park. Um, yeah, I'm going to try this again. And I'm going to stick to 80 miles an hour. Because it should mean then that we never catch up to that train. See, that, that's, my, that's, my, that's my cleverness thinking. That could be a seri serious problem. Peterborough Station. In we go. Ah, oh, Peterborough is a bit bland of a station, isn't it? Or maybe it's just all made out of glass on the inside. Who knows? But then we walk through and run the wrong platform. Oh, and there's a dupe materializing in my face. Okay. Just going just gonna to jump the platform over here. There we go. I jumped too far. Never mind. 
Oh, look at that trick. Look at it, though. It just looks so modern and speedy and fantastic. I mean, I like it because it gives, like, you know, it gives King's Cross and this whole route more. Like, it, you know, it, it gives it more, like, the more that it needed. You know, because we had, we had other st the other stuff, and this is just, this is just finalised a lot off, really. So that's, that's, that's fantastic. Notice how the cab door is this one. That's, there's not, not actually a cab door in the cab. You know, this is just an emergency hatch. So there you go, fun fact. Um, maybe one day I should try and recreate that whole sort of like um, Class 180 Adelante safety video. I might do that one day. Passengers on board. Yep, yeah, signal, come on. Let's get going here. Signal, 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 come on. We want you to go because we, we want to we want to actually arrive at Stevenage today. It'd be good um, without spadding. It'd be nice. So yeah, my my theory is 80 miles an hour is key because the speed limit just increases up to 125 from here. So yeah, that's 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 my logic. That's my logic. Come on, signal, change, 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 change. Hang on, whilst it's whilst it's not um, zero nine seven eight. Zero. There we go. We're logged in. You could put any code in. It doesn't really matter. You know, as long as it's as long as it's one of the one of the ten digits, you can you can do it. Let's go. Thirty percent acceleration should do it because we're going into a twenty-five. So there we go. Um, I do like this train though. I mean, I, just look at it. Look at it. You can turn the DSD on, but you know, driver safety for device. But I'm not going to. Sounds too scary to turn on. Because um, I, I won't hear it when I'm looking out at the gorgeous everything. In fact, whilst I'm here, I am going to control plus, um, control C, control plus. So that should have closed it at the back. No, I didn't close it at the back. Hang on. Right. Control plus, control C, three, control C. Is it just changing the one at the front? Maybe it's because I'm in forward. That might be it. Yeah, I've just put that one. Out. Oh, dear. Control C, go away. Stop sticking your tongue out. And close. I do like that. It's a very nice animation, and it just it just just looks awesome when you when you do that. Right, let's come off the throttle a bit here because we are going into the 25, and then hopefully we can get ourselves up to. I'm going to go with 80. I think 80 is a good speed um, to be to be doing this on because then we can't hopefully die horribly because um, we would have spatted and gone all the way into that HST eventually and caused a massive problem in the whole network, so let's not do that. Right, it's gone up to 105, so let's full throttle this up to 80 miles an hour. You watch me forget now. Just look at that menacing train right there. It's fantastic. Screenshot. Lovely. Right. Just look at that. We're at Heart of the North. They've got different names. Um, I can't remember all the names. I know one of them's James, which is... Uh, I can't remember the last name of it, though. Look at that gold door there. Isn't that sort of like first class? I think so. Look at that Grand Central livery right there. I mean, even though I'm on the lowest settings, that looks really good. Through the bridge, through the bridge, through the bridge, through the bridge, through the bridge. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so, yeah. But look at that. Just sort of speeding out of Peterborough. Southbound. I like I like how the sort of like the orange sort of stripe just comes down and just sort of like, you know, ends it there. It's very cool. So this this is a very fancy train, you know. This is, this yeah, this is the train that sort of you'd imagine posh people would take for some weird reason. That's what my brain seems to think the 180 is for. Probably isn't, but there's 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 concrete there. That ruined my screenshot. I wanted to get a screenshot, and the concrete ruined it. There we go. Right. That's a green. That's good. The next one's a double yellow. But I'm going to level off. Not level off. I've been playing flight sim. I'm I'm going to stop at 80 miles an hour. So let's just get down to a little bit of throttle, and hopefully this should stop us from getting close to a red signal. Because that because the trouble is we accelerate a lot faster than that HST does. And I think that's the problem. So, yeah. We'll just sort of stick the throttle. 6%. That should keep us coasting. No, a bit more. Come on. Where's the magic number that keeps us going at the same speed forever? Ding. Yeah, there we go. We seem to be... We, we're, we're behind greens, so this is a good thing. 13%? Yeah, you watch 13% do it. Oh, no, that's too much. Oh, these throttles. Ne there's never a stay going at the right speed unless you do some sort of speed set. I like how it's quieter outside. Uh, that's, that's quite nice. That's quite nice. Oh, okay, right. Just look at that. It's just so pretty. And it's just it's just so modern and fancy, and I love it. And look at all that bogey detail you've got going on down there. But yeah, like I said, this is sort of like 
the old Jaffa cake livery where those Jaffa cakes they they came in um they, I think they came in a black box um and they used they used to have chocolate on the underside oh my god they were those are the best that's a, that's a double yellow I know please please just go oh dear um okay right let's idle the throttle and just sort of well, actually we'll put a six percent brake on and just start to brake and then put a horrendous amount of braking on. Yeah, the speed limit went down to 100. He slowed down. Oh, dear. Okay, we can deal with that. We can deal with that. Let's be in here for a minute. This is a Grand Central service to Stevenage. Calling at HST, HST, HST. No, this isn't called... We're not calling at HST. Is that a green signal now? No. But is it at least a double yellow? Is it at least a double yellow? Please. No, 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 it's not. Okay, braking. A lot of braking is about to occur. AWS. That is a single yellow and it's remaining single yellow. Okay. Gotta be like below like 10 miles an hour before that AWS ramp. So let's do that thing. We could do it. Half brake. We should be okay. Yeah, the brakes on this are a little weak, but that's realistic. Because we're not an ele electric train, we can't reverse our amps to get to get like what is it? I can't remember what the braking's called, but we've got a different kind of braking. In fact, what kind of braking do we have? I've got uh, information on the train here. We have... You guys probably know this. Um, braking systems. We have air and a hydrodynamic. So there you go. We have hydrodynamic braking and air braking. Um, so, fun facts right there. Um, I don't know if that's normal or not, but yeah. Well, is that please? Is that signal gone? All right, it's gone yellow. Good, good. Okay, we'll just sort of coast. We'll, we'll pick up a bit more speed then. Let's put it on fifty percent throttle, and we, sh we should be okay. We should be okay. Oh, look at that train! That's it's lovely. Oh, you can see all the smoke coming out of the top. Diesel trains are amazing. See, these trains are the best because these are the ones that are still going to be okay when um, AWS has gone off. Yeah, it's because of that one. These trains are going to be the ones that survive when all the electricity, like, disappears. So there you go. <laughs> Fun fact. Diesel train... That's why diesel and steam trains are the best, like, in, in that way. In that sense of the word, they will never run out of power. Unless you run out of coal or, like, you know, diesel. In which case, we'll have another problem there. And then we'll need... Then we'll... Because then... We, what, what was... What is that I saw? Somebody's made a train that runs on hydrogen. Which is pretty cool. But you also use hydrogen to make, like, rocket engines. Like, you know, so, um, like, the space shuttle fuel has got liquid hydrogen. So if it ever got really cold one day, the train would just, like, you know, explode. So that's not good. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, what's that signal up ahead? That's a red. That's a, that's that's definitely a red. That is definitely a red. Oh, dear. Change. Change. We're going to get deep. No, not again. Not again. No. Oh, no. TPWS is going to go off any second now. Boom. ADWS. Spad alert. Spad alert. Here we go again. Oh dear. Sailing through a red signal. I give up. Right, you know what? I'm going to try the stowaway instead. And we're taking um, James Herriot is the name. See, I knew it was one called James. To bound from f to Bounds Green Depot from King's Cross. It's a very wet and windy evening. But on such a short journey, what could possibly go wrong? I'm going to do this one because, you know... I, I've fed up with the other one. I've spatted twice now, so let's just let's do this one instead, shall we? I think so, indeed. And once again, we are in. This evening's run should be a straightforward trip between Kings Cross and Bounds Green Depot. I'm sure it will be, indeed. Um, however, it's called the Stowaway, so we've got a sleeping passenger on board or something. Probably. Hopefully, we won't have, have a spat this time. Uh, hopefully. I mean, you know, James Herriot. There we go. There you go. Grand Central. I like that name. It's Grand Central. The train manager just found a couple of children hiding on board. Please open the doors to let them out. Oh, great. Okay. Doors. Right. Okie okay, dokie. Windscreen wipers for days. I said windscreen wipers. There we go. So, yeah, it's night time. The frame rate's going to be a bit more tanky. And we're in London. So, you know, as you can imagine, that's always a bit of a problem. That's a nice view. Boom. Let's pop that open. Boom. Right, our code today is going to be 1, 4, 9, 7, 8. There we go. So the doors should now... All the doors are open. Fantastic. Kids, 
get out, alright? You're not allowed on this train, not unless you want to be stuck in a depot all night, and I can't imagine that would be fun, because we're taking all the food off, you know? I mean, you, you know, you can't have the catering forever. So, yes, as you can see, now, that, as you can see, the speed of that's not doing well. We're still getting covered in rain, so if we step it up a notch, it should go a bit quicker. There we go, but it's still getting covered in rain, so we can step it up to max, max speed, and there we go. There we go, fantastic. However, you can't really tell because of frame rate, but... They're off the train now, let's proceed to the depot. Fantastic, we have a signal. Let's go. Go via Gasworks Tunnel Line B. I can do that thing. If we start moving, uh, that is. Come on. Come on, train, start moving. There we go. We're moving. We're on our way to Bounds Green Depot today. Tonight. But, you know, that's just things. Right, let's zoom the camera out a bit so we can see it. Oh, hang on, Control-C. Get your coupling away. Nobody wants to see your coupling, do they? No, go away, coupling. Boom. No one wants to see your coupling. <laughs> oh, dear. Boom. Right. Is that, is that flange sounds that I'm hearing right now? I don't know. I don't even know. Let's get ourselves up to 15 miles an hour. B. Oh, tun tunnel line B. Okay, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. So what sort of AI have we got going on here? got HSTs, there's a 365 over there, another HST, another 365, all very busy, um, which causes the frame rate to have a problem. Ah, that's why we're going slower. We have a 10 car train, would you look at that? Yes, so you can, yeah, as you can see, you can couple them together, but you can literally couple this train to the ICE3 or the ICE TD, which is the one I'd recommend because that's also a diesel train, and then you can have some fun with that if you so desired. Oh, we've got a 365 coming in there. Would you look at that? Hopefully, the frame rate will um, improve a bit once we get in it. See, if I put the cab light on, this train does have a nice cab light. It's nice and bright, but it does kill the frame rate. Let's put the fan on. Fan! Yeah, you can see it spins. Uh, yeah, on, yeah, not very good frame rate, but whatever. But whatever, whatever. Well, at least the rain sort of, like, you know, being cleared off nicely by our windscreen wipers. Our windscreen wipers. Go via, yeah, go via Gasworks Tunnel. That's easy enough. We should get the point soon then. Have fun, networkers. Oh, that's the point. We've got Armstrong Powerhouse sound packs in those networkers, and there's a lot of networkers around. That can't be helping. There we go. Sort of stick it at 15. We should get some points soon. Oh, there we go. We're in here. Now I'm going to turn the thing off because we don't need it. I said we're going to turn the thing off. Come on. There we go. It's nearly finished. Cab on. Cab light on so we can see in here. Oh, no, let's not. Let's, let's not. We can't. We'll deal with not being able to see, I reckon. Because, you know... No, nope. Go away! Windscreen wiper, thank you. Right. Just sort of coasting in now. Go for a holloway down fast. Do I want to get the points then? I thought I'd get points by now. Never mind. Who needs points anyway? Just just spad. Spad every day. But being in this tunnel, I mean, if I had everything turned... You can see everything lights up. I mean, look at the lighting effect on that screen there. It's fantastic. It is really, seriously fantastic. It is one of the best they have made in, like, you know... Since the class 378, really. It's, it's, it's sort of that sort of level of detail the class 378 has. Sort of like, you know, with the sort of the standing up, turning, you know, like sort of like where you could watch the train turn from inside. It's that sort of thing, but like, you know, in this train instead. I mean, like, you've got chess boards in, in the tables. It's like so accurate. And these seats look very comfy. A lot, a lot better than other seats. And that's the parcels unattended sign again. We don't care about that. Come on, let's get some speed on. Let's get, or we can go up to 45 at some point, and then, um, yeah. At least we've got green signals this time. We can't spad. It hasn't stopped raining, has it? But look at the colour of that sky out there. That looks so pretty. Come on, I want to go faster. I want to go, I'm on 10% throttle right now, and it's not doing anything. Come on. Let's get some throttle up here. Serious throttle, come on. There we go, 45. Put it on. 46 throttle for 45 speed. That makes perfectly logical sense in my brain. How's the rest of the train doing? You're grand. Yeah, you're grand. You can see this. The, the cat, there's lighting inside the inside the train as well, which is causing a bit of frame rate problems. Oh, that's not the sky colour. That light's been projected onto the um, on the high speed one line. Ew. Okay. Fair enough. Let's try and get a nice screenshot of this train emerging out of the tunnel. Very nice. Let's get a bit more speed on that. Come on. Let's get up to 45. How far away is the de- Oh my god! How far away is the depot? I don't actually know. Come on, let's get some speed on that. Speed. 
No, like ser serious speed. Come on, I want to. I want to be able to see things briefly. There we go. And it should go even faster now. Oh, is that the speed? That's probably the speed. It's just not showing it because of the low frame rate. That's a very purple light. I like it. I like it. So we've got 65, 45, 55. All right. Ding. Oh, we've got another networker coming up there. Fantastic. Well, now that we're escaping London, the, fr the frame rate is starting to increase. So that's good. That's good. Right. And we're plunged into darkness again because there are lots of tunnels around this area. But, you know, what, what are you going to do about it? Now, I'm going to... Right, let's try and stick to 45, shall we? 23% um, throttle. Let's try and stick to 45 because we've got 45 at the end of the next station. Um, so, yeah, there's not much point, really, in going faster than that. So, yeah. And then we can go up to 55. And Yeah, I mean, we won't get to see the train go full throttle today, really, as such, in an actual scenario because I'm inept. But, you know, what are we going to do about it? Green for days. So the lighting effects on this route are very nice. They really are. With all the different, like, you know, different colours of lighting going on. All the buildings are lit up and the street lights and everything. This route is fantastic. I don't, I, I do like this route. I do like this route a lot. Uh, Okie dokie. Holloway, oh, it's not, a, it's not a station. It's just called Holloway Down Fast. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Just look at this. Though. What's that sound I can hear? Oh! That would be the emergency brakes for some reason. I don't know why. But the emergency brakes are going off. Why? Why the emergency brake? What have I done wrong now? What? Who? Why? Where? I can't get them off now. I... I... I did... Why did the emergency brakes go off? Seems there's one of those... Oh, okay. <laughs> Same as what happened in another one. Seems as though there must be one of those pesky kids on board still. I'll let you know once I've got more information. Please wait for further instructions. Bloody kids. They're always pulling the emergency cord on my trains. Why does it happen every time? Every time. Oh, dear.